Here's a second video to the uh, modular RV vapor compression fridge. I tore everything out and plugged it in and uh, still works. This thing is rock solid. Um, has a little swing compressor. Uh, running an R12. I think, it's, I think it's about 40 watts or something. Right now in AC it's pulling uh, 0.54 watts. Uh, the thing's rated at about uh, 0.6 watts. Um, uh, excuse me, 0.6 amps, I'm sorry. Um, it is running R12, uh, it run on 12 volt DC or 120 volt AC. Um, I was mistaken, it's a 20 volt AC compressor. Um, this transformer will step it down from 120 volt down to 20. It uh, has a nice beefy relay there that I presume um, uh, when powered probably switches this thing automatically over 120 volt AC so when you have short power in an RV. Um, there's this beefy inverter here. Um, thing is old, all this stuff's made in Japan, um, and that's what uh, produces a 20 volt AC from the uh, 12 volt supply. So it's chilling right now, you can see the frost um, just out here in the open air. The condenser is uh, hot down to about the uh, about the top third of it, and then it's just all subcooling, I think, from there. But uh, I really like this thing. Um, I don't have any use for it as it is. Um, eventually, I might try to use that compressor for something. Um, I think uh, I think a swing compressor is pretty uh, pretty nifty and it's a very small capacity so uh, yeah it could be useful down the road. I'm just gonna set it aside for now. Uh, you see we have that uh, capillary tube heat interchanger there on the suction line all wrapped around it. Thermostat. Yeah I, uh, <laughs> I like this thing. I wish they still built stuff like this. And if you watch the other video you can see how it was uh, how it was installed. I mean, the whole thing just comes out as a modular unit. I mean, it's, it's a little uh, uh, hard to, to handle in this in this situation here, but uh, nonetheless, the fact that you can swap it out is pretty pretty neat. So, thanks for watching. Oh, um, by the way, this thing is a Norkhold, um, and it was made in Japan. I'm guessing sometime in the late 70s, maybe early 80s. Can't really tell for sure. Bye.